30 years, Mr. Aditya Puri strode like a colossus on the Indian banking scene. But since he retired from HDFC Bank in October 2020, we haven't been able to get him on camera. Today, I got some unexpected help from his wife, actually, who has written a delightful book, Aditya Nama, The Man Behind the Banker. And both Mrs. Anita Smiley Puri and Aditya Puri have been good enough to come over to our studio. This is the first time that the author of the book and the subject of the book have come for an interview, so I am delighted. Thank you, Lata. Always a pleasure. With yes, you. thank you so much for having us. Okay, well, first, uh, I must tell you that this is a delightful love story. Uh, uh, Mrs. Puri, I would to ask you, you all met you as a college student, yes. fell in love, and then it turned out to be arranged because his bua knew your chachi. Yes. This is like filmy. It's really a miracle <laughs> because uh, I thought, okay, it's it's just that, you know, one one party. Okay. And then I you know, got into my Miranda house, you know, studies, and I didn't think about it. But his, uh, you know, cousin sister who had taken yeah. me to the uh, mm. party, she, he, he kept asking her, where's that friend of yours? Because I want to marry her. <laughs> okay. And she said, I've lost track of her. So it was quite a thing when he came to see me because the Bu and Shachi, uh, you know, sent the proposal to our, uh, to our respective parents. Yes. He, when he came to see me at my sister's home, uh, when the proposal came, he actually just came in he saw and he just said, okay, you know, in his mind, but I didn't know. He didn't ask any questions and yes. you were angry. He did not even ask me one question. He just saw, okay, this is the same smiley that I've been searching for. <laughs> and he just went on to the bar to have a drink. <laughs> okay. okay. Well, um, let me come back to the story of Mr. Puri's career. Uh, Mr. Puri, you, your story is like, uh, you know, a, a very amazing tale of climb. You started as a paying guest in a dingy apartment in Mumbai and where the landlady just gave you half a cup of tea and a biscuit for breakfast. <laughs> I mean, this is a very big climb. Uh, you think this is still possible? What do you owe this dramatic success? Yes. Of course it's possible. I think you need God's grace. Yeah. So firstly, Lata, I was from a small town like Chandigarh. And in Chandigarh, if you're reasonably well off, you're a big shot. Okay. And there was lots of space, etc. And when I got this uh, job in Mahindra and Mahindra, I thought I'd become a big guy with the sum that was there. When I came here, I realized it was nothing. So we, and most of us at that time, even the Levers guys, my cousins from Levers, my friends, we were all paying guests in that famous o oval, you know, opposite oh. the oval, that whole thing. Okay. And, uh, but mine was a little more down market. I came there uh, Later. later. So, yes, it, it, was, uh, it was to the extent that the first time I saw the rush coming out of uh, Churchgate Church Station, Church. I went back. Okay. Now, the fact, however, was that it built a determination that I got to beat this year. Yes. I'm not going to, we're yeah. not going to, we're not going to sit there. And, in fact, I said, because when you come from a small town, you're a member of the club, you're a member of the golf club, you know everybody here. I was nobody. Yes. But I said... I'm going to do it. And the advice would be only this, that do what you're passionate about, work hard, and also have an emotional coefficient, people only, only at that. And then nobody can stop you, and especially today. I'm glad you said emotional coefficient because uh, uh, Mrs. Puri points out that among your big qualities, best qualities as she calls it, is you're a man with humor and you are a foodie. I'm going to come to the foodie a bit later. But the man of humor, you think that is a very big ingredient in success? Yes, I think the overall package, you can't be too serious. Mm. And also you've got to roll, uh, you know, you've got to go up and down and roll with the punches. Nobody is going to have a straight uh, right. climb. So you've got to have that uh, tenacity. And a bit of humor can lighten almost any situation. So I think humor, some empathy, uh, lack of uh, ego. You got to be humble. Your ego will kill you one way or the other. Okay. Well, um, actually, she speaks about the fact that you're extremely fair uh, to colleagues, even when you are harsh with them. Uh, but, uh, uh, Mrs. Puri, one of the nice things, and not many people can do this, you said he never brings his problems home. Yes. Uh, 
he, didn't discuss the tensions. You know, my father used to come home with a briefcase full of papers yeah. from his business and then open it out when he would come and he would be, you know, Working at work. Through. So when I got married, I asked him in the evening when he came back from work, I said, where's your briefcase? Because <laughs> I was so used to my father. People he said, what home. briefcase? Since then, I've never seen even one piece of paper come home or one problem come home. And later on in the day, you know, next day I would get to know that there was a big problem at the bank. Oh. But I never got to know. But uh, you do say that um, the change to Citibank, uh, were, you know, there was a lot of uh, think. In fact, in quotes you say, he would ask, Smiley, did we do the right thing? So no. those were very difficult days, the change from city, city to, to, to the H to HDFC HDFC bank. bank. Yes, it was because I was living like a queen in Malaysia. He was CEO there and they would call me Lady Boss. Okay. And Lady Boss shouldn't have any problems at all. Whereas here when I came, people didn't even know the name of the bank. And they sort of used to actually be, we lost a lot of friends also oh. at that time because from being somebody i mean we were nothing yes so it was a big change also even my lifestyle because it was it was a large grand home and we had a lot of cars and drivers and all whereas here since the bank was uh, you know a newborn baby so we did have uh, not so adjusting many, to a smaller house uh, and not many perquisites yeah. as we had and not so much help from uh, the organization from the organization since it wasn't yeah. set up yeah uh, uh, mr puri that the big question really of your career what made you jump if you were in such a good position in city and you would have risen there as well to the international levels how did deepak pari convince you you say he met you in a hotel in kuala lumpur no no he came he, he met he me came at home yeah. he came and home. Uh, so <clears throat> fundamentally yes absolutely John Reed that time had a few of these guys who had golden hold cup. There was Jerry Rao, there was yes. my boss later on, Nanu Pamnani. I was there who said these are the 50 guys who are going to do it. And I was on the cusp of a... <coughs> uh, but then we were sometimes thinking whether we want to spend our entire life overseas and we, or we come here. And long back I told Smiley, one day I'll set up a bank in India that India will be proud of. So that was there at the back of my mind, but it was a very tough decision. And then when Deepak came, he said, and the salary he offered means uh, <laughs> was much I, lower, I, he I, said. I was almost going to fall off the uh, <laughs> chair. I said, Deepak, are you bloody joking? <laughs> what are we going to do? Then I also said, look, if I come back, it will be to solve a passion. So whose bank will it be? How much will you run it? And how many? he said, look, you come back and you run it. And, and I have to say, he never deviated from that. If I needed to do something or if I needed his help, I went to him. But he never once said, you do this or you do that or you do that. Credit to him. And he said, look, come back to the country and do something. Yeah. And then the clincher actually was my dad. Okay. He was not well. Mm. And then we said, Papa, come. We'll set up hospital wherever we were. They were talking about Australia or something. And he said, no, I don't want to leave this place. And I want to spend my last days in Smiley's house. Okay. I said, Papa, it happens to be my house as well. <laughs> okay. But that I swelled with pride because it was a hell of a compliment yes. that he sees it as his daughter-in-law's uh, house. And then I went to Smiley and I said, look, Smiley, what should I do? So she says, if something happens to Papa, can you spend the balance of your life? Yeah. I said, no. Yeah. And then we were here. So it was an emotional as well as an yes. intellectual choice. Absolutely. Uh, to set Absolutely. up a bank, your own passion, as well as family issues. Okay, you know, uh, 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 aside from uh, HDFC Bank itself, did you get irritated with any qualities? I mean, chapter after chapter, you speak well of him. No, not I mean, that's a little difficult. I mean, <laughs> did he put wet towels on the bed or, or you know, disturb yeah, the nice person, <laughs> nice no, person <laughs> with gloves? <laughs> no, it's it's natural to have a little bit of irritation. He's human after all. But the wet towel didn't, you know, happen. But you know, whenever I was in company and I would be talking to my friends he would get something in his mind which was very important at that time which he wanted to 
say, but he didn't have the patience to wait for me to finish. And he would interrupt me. And this really irritated me. And I would say, hello, I'm speaking, you know. Just take over the conversation. And the second thing that really bothered me was his dress sense. Oh, my God. And it still hasn't improved. We have married 45 How years. How did I get the GQ award then? <laughs> I got GQ award. You got, but maybe that's... Uh, that was for, for that's business. For my <laughs> business. <laughs> I'm getting to the next set of my pile of questions. Sure. For that, we have to take a break. Back in a jiffy with more interesting questions for Aditya Puri and Anita Puri. Welcome back to this very interesting conversation with Aditya Puri and Mrs. Anita Smiley Puri, who has just authored a book on the man behind the banker, Aditya Nama. Uh, Mrs. Puri, I, you know, you, you've written and we discussed that he never brought his problems home. Never but after retirement, there was this big merger announcement, HDFC getting merged ah. into HDFC Bank. Did you see any exchange of expression in his face? No, I could... Worried, see, unhappy. No, I, happy. I could see that he's really moved on because emotionally, physically, and even mentally, I could see he was absolutely the same person. No, uh, you know, frowns on Wonderful. his face, and at no expression, no give No away. expression, and he was absolutely as though it didn't bother him at all, and he had really moved on. Okay, would it have bothered you, uh, the merger? Are you? What's, what's your reaction? We never got to hear that. Oh, no, I don't think it would have bothered me. As long as it was done in the best interest. See, remember, a lot of people made a lot of noise about it. Mm. And in your interviews with you, Lata, I always said, whenever it makes sense, we would go ahead and do it. I think uh, they all sat together, and at this point in time, it probably made sense. Mm. And there, there are enough good minds at it and I'm fast. If you were there, would you have resisted is my question, actually. If it was good for the bank, I would not. If it wasn't, I would. You're still not answering. If, if because I don't know. I don't know the basis of the merger. Okay. So how can I comment? Be unfair. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I'll, I'll let you escape with that. Good. Mr. Puri, if you recall, what was the most challenging moment for you when you were running the bank? See, lot, as she rightly says, a lot of the moments were challenging. In, in the sense, first, we had to set it up. Then we had to see if we need to expand and become large, how we need to change our business. Then we had to see the geographical. Each time it was like almost setting up a new bank and then constant change in technology. And if you uh, notice during the times that you interviewed, we wanted to be a ahead of the curve. We didn't want to be a leader. So being the first also entails risk. Uh, Mrs. Puri has even put a quote over there and the quote will run. You, you say, why are there brakes in a car? And the surprising answer you come up with is so that you can run in full speed. Yeah. Your point being that I have put risk measures and so that I can go at full speed. But at some point, did the bank go more than no, the absolutely. breaks allowed? No, no. Because, you know, two years ago... Yeah, I'll tell you. I'm, I'm quite happy to discuss that. The, when I said the measure, if you see the bank, and I'm very proud of that, the bank has the systems and procedures that it runs by. Most people give me credit, but actually it's the whole team that put in and who would give the life for the bank and me. Yes. And we never had a credit issue. We never had a people issue. No. Technology was also not running too fast. We had the best guys. We had IBM, we had Cisco, we had TCS, everything. And yes. they were all saying good and they had tested it out. Yes. I think they got a bit too uh, ambitious, but that was not with my sanction. Okay. Happens. Okay. Uh, uh, Mrs. Puri, did you get help in raising the children from him? Uh, yes and no. When he was home, he was hands-on. Okay, let me put, uh, put a, uh, speak of the one challenge that you speak about in the book. Uh, how did he react when uh, your daughter joined films? Uh, did that upset him? Yeah, he... 
he didn't know <laughs> what had hit him okay. because he had told her to become a copywriter in O&M. Mass communication, okay. Yes. He was very keen. And she was good at it. And she was good at it. Ranjan Kapoor told me she's very good. Okay. So he was <laughs> actually shocked. He said, now where did this come from? You know, because I am absolutely camera shy. Okay. And uh, he's from a banking background and his... Uh, you know, grandfather was a lawyer yes. and his father was in Air Force. So at first we, we didn't know this industry at all. So that's why, because it was unknown waters. Fair enough. Absolutely. And it's not structured. It's, yeah. it's, I said, look, you'll have to go through ups and downs. And then she said, you know, Pop, I'm, I'm sparing you. But half the time when you put me through mass communications and then she, I was going to send her overseas for journalism, you made me believe that it was my decision <laughs> and you and actually only in afterthought I realized it's mine and now I want my own her decision okay good but then there was full support yeah, afterwards yeah, yeah. from the family yes okay uh, uh, Mr. Puri I wanted to ask you get you uh, to the modern day as yeah. well uh, you know we the, the world is facing a lot of banking issues what are we getting right do you think we are getting things right in India ah I love this because I sent a note to some of my fellows overseas. I think, you know, people feel they have the liberty to take a pot shot at India anytime they want. But people in glass houses should look first inside. Yes. Now, if you see these collapses and if you see also what the banking systems overseas look like, we look like a Garden of Eden. Absolutely. Take this SVB, take the other collapse, take Credit Suisse. Our regulators and full credit to the RBI for this. We have asset liability management. Yes. We have portfolio management. We have deposit disparity. Yes. Yes. We have uh, market risk. We have reputational risk. We have technology. I, I think we do a damn good job and the rest should learn from us rather than lecturing us. Okay. Oh, absolutely. And I also believe that the Soneki Chidiya is coming back. Okay. So you think that we have the best days for India? Absolutely. Soneki Chidiya coming back. They now one full round. Okay. Well, Mrs. Puri, speaking about retirement, did it bug you? What is his day like now? Uh, are you happy with his retirement? Yes, absolutely. Can I read a yes, little... Please the conclusion which I think would uh, really answer your uh, question well that Aditya has smoothly moved on to the next chapter of his life and I'm so happy to see him passionately pursue his dreams of providing quality affordable healthcare across the length and breadth of the company providing credit to the underprivileged and democratizing the benefits of technology to reduce disparity and environment protection Okay, so he's doing a lot of NGO work. Yes. Uh, uh, Mr. Puri, uh, is it only NGO work? You're not getting into active corporate life at all? Board of directors, uh, chairman? Board of directors, chairman actually can't make much of a difference. But, but in PNB, they wanted you. PNB housing, right? You No, PNB housing, I was ready to go with certain conditions. Okay. That if they were willing to bring a large amount of money, then I saw the opportunity of really revolutionizing uh, the whole thing by having a cloud-based, API, platform-based technology, by having different credit systems, by having uh, different distribution channels, by making sure that the length and the breadth got, got it all right. And uh, we, they were also talking about putting in the requisite procedures so that the company itself would change. Uh, I was excited. I thought it was uh, going to come. I was not involved in the pricing and all those decisions and the balance. It didn't happen. It didn't. Okay, okay. But you're, don't we see you in an active role uh, driving a company? If I find up? something, if I find something like, take Farm Easy, I, I, I'm actively involved. So just like banking needed to go into the interior, yes. we need to get quality health care and medicines to the interior. You drive, you know, wherever you go to your home time, you drive 200 or 100 kilometers, then you see this doctor, you don't even know whether he's a doctor. You have a compounder sitting next to him. Everything is this white grind that is given to you in yes. the packet. I do want to bring quality healthcare to all of India at a cheaper price, delivered to the doorstep. That would include medicines, orthopedics, 
doctor on call, and I'm very passionate about that. I want to, and we are working, a couple of us are uh, working together, you know, Mahindra's, uh, us, Bombay Port Trust, uh, the oh. government, HDFC exactly. Bank, ICICI Bank, to make your life more livable, and I, I think we will be able to come out with something soon. Oh, this is very interesting. Uh, Mr. Puri, then I, I want answers to two questions from you. Uh, now the One, difficult ones come. Uh, bolo, bolo. When is your book coming? No book. <laughs> okay. All right. So when I, was, I didn't even want this to come. I know. You, she keeps saying that but she after, had to keep it a secret from you. After 45 years, you know, you know when you are, you better not argue. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. Said I for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. And when do we see you actively jump into some company? You said that. You know, it may be in pharma, uh, in pharma, pharma it may yeah, be in it medical, may be in pharma, healthcare. It could be. If there was something where I could eliminate the money lender, I'd do that. Okay, then that is finance and pharma. And oh. pharma. And because you see, you must understand, uh, Lata, I think Prime Minister Modi has been saying this for quite some time. 60% of India still lives in semi urban and rural India. They've taken roads, electricity, uh, digital, all of it there. And now we have the opportunity to be able to take finance and thereby take them out of the uh, money lending business. I think that that is something that must be done. And if you give them finance, I think it will create another India. Yeah, maybe that's possible now because of digitization, exactly. digitalization, yeah. UPI, O And they're very hardworking people. We were talking just before we... You go in there, look at the activity. They need the support. They need the electricity, water, this, that they've got. Now they need financing and they also need some support. And I think the, the government is firmly focused on that. And if I got something there, I'd be there. Okay, that's great to hear. Uh, Anita, Smiley Puri, Aditya Puri, thank you very much for joining us in this delightful conversation. And we've got two big takeaways. Mr. Aditya Puri is not writing a book. But uh, don't be surprised if you see him take active participation and come with a company in finance, uh, in pharmaceuticals. We'll wait and see. Pleasure speaking to both of you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you for having us. Thanks a lot, Lara. That was very nice. Thank, Thank you. you so much.